and welcome to Training at 45. It's time for another training session. So on Friday, um, try to phase out the 8x8. Um, I was also feeling a bit burnt out and it turned out that I had actually picked up a cold and ended up the rest of the weekend feeling what, rather rough. Still feeling the effects a little bit tonight but a lot better from it now. Um, tried to go biking and other things over the weekend to try and shake it off. Um, so a couple of days ago just did a light dumbbell workout and I found that really helped just to ease some of the systems and just get the uh, blood flowing again. So looking at the training log then, it's all been a bit haphazard and jumping around and about really. At, at the start of the new year, I committed to trying to um, do a heavy light medium workout and for the most part I have stuck with that um, but various things such as injury in the back and whatever have, have kind of thwarted me so far so I think it's time to knuckle down again and get back to the basic principles of my medium workout and try and see that through as, in, as intended with just straight sets and reps. So this is the overhead press then really love this exercise um, I used to try and do it standing but I found it aggravated my lower back I think I was just trying to lean back a bit too much so I prefer now this seated variant I found as well it's best not to have a completely upright bench so I'm kind of at about maybe an 85 degree or something angle with the seat of the bench I'm really just trying to um, you know, just use a hundred percent shoulder drive really to get the bar up. Just starting to um, struggle now on the last few reps because trying to go for twelve reps, so the bar is getting a little bit away from my face here, and that's not helping me. So it's good to watch these videos again and, and analyse what I'm doing. It's done it. I thought there'd be a bit of a loss of strength or something, but it seemed to work. I just felt the sticking point and decided to just keep pushing through that. I think it's easy to hit the sticking point and then think, oh, I'll then try and decry it from there. But I think it's trying to keep that progressive movement. That was good. Okay, so this is the second set then. Trying to aim for 12 reps here. But it's really starting to get taxing now. So I'm only having a two minute rest between these sets. So yeah. I just completely had to bail there on that last rep. I think that was nice. Valiant effort though. That first set's still a bit of a PR really. It was 12 reps, new weight. So that's the first set of rows down. Already feels so much less fatiguing than those 8 by 8 sets. Feels nice actually. It's almost like a welcome relief. So I'm loving this exercise as well, which is the um, incline row to the chest. I've tried this with like wider attachments, but I just find I really get a good feeling in the lats from this. And I'm working up to some pretty decent weights now um, and the pulley system's holding up. It doesn't seem to be stretching it at all to uh, lift weights like this. There's plenty more for there for it to give. And the neutral position as well, it really just eases my forearms because in different positions to this, it's, I seem to get this bit of a tendon pain. So it's good. And also I can plant my feet against the wall to get a real drive. That was good. Really feeling this exercise now and getting a nice pull right to the chest, which is good. Last set. Yeah, this last rep was just about acceptable. So bench press now. When I last did this in a normal medium routine, I've got 12, 12 and 9. So I've got to try and surpass that at this weight to get a PR. So the dumbbell bench then, I really like this exercise and I've progressed quite nicely with it. I found just getting into position is just the most tricky thing. So I have to be very careful and actually lift my legs off the floor just as I rock back so it doesn't damage my back. But that seems to work for me fine. 
And I found over the barbell version of this exercise, you find your own sort of groove and um, alignment, really, of how you lift. And of course, because you've got the dumbbell independently in each hand, there's a lot more stress, I think, just to uh, maintain the correct form and position. So yeah, just trying to get 12 reps and do three sets of 12 on this exercise. Which when you get to the last few reps and you're staring up at the moon and you can see your own breath, it's uh, a bit of a challenge. That was good. I really feel the triceps pushing that then. I think there's plenty more to give yet. That was 12. So I'm on par with my former self at the moment. I feel like I'm getting a good speed on these. Just the last rep I really felt. I needed to use my whole body to just get that up. So this is the final set now. Now I'm really going to be trying to grind out these last few. And uh, yeah, just giving everything I've got. Even using the legs to drive the dumbbells up. Well, I've beaten... My former self by one rep. It's not bad, given that I'm still getting over a cold. But I think in my head, I had nine reps and just getting past that nine and that would be enough. But next time I try and I need to try and smash 12 so we can move up a weight on this. Determined to get up to some heavier dumbbells. So normally in my workouts, I try to do some sort of curl version. I found these drag curls over the last few weeks to be really good. That were uh, championed by Vince Duranda. Um, even though I'm lifting quite a light weight here, it's not about all out weight. It's, it's about that slow drag up the body and getting the elbows back. But on the last few reps, I've just reverted to a standard curl just to burn out the biceps as much as I can. Because I'm just doing one set of these. That's all I'm looking to do. Now going through all the, uh, the belt squats, I've really um, learned to, to love That's this excellent. exercise. It was a bit of a love-hate relationship because certainly once the weight is getting up now a bit on these, um, I'm finding I can only really do sort of one rep at, at, at a time, having to have a bit of a breather rather than continuously just sort of pump up and down doing them as I could with a bit more of a lighter weight. Maybe it, there might be some benefit to doing a lighter weight and, and, and having that back off set to maybe do that. But I'm finding as well, technique-wise, I'm perfecting that. I'm finding that you actually sort of really try and push back against the belt and, and, and drive the legs up that way. So it puts a bit less stress on the knees then. And I don't experience any back pain at all from this exercise. In fact, it actually comforts my back. It sort of puts it into like a sort of traction, really, which is which is wonderful. But such a, a cold night on this night that I was training here, and um, yeah, my lungs were just really really burning by by the last few reps. But there was this lovely breeze that was coming across. And I could just look up at the stars and, and, and do these reps, which is something you can't really experience inside. Although I think I'd trade having a lovely heated indoor gym any day of the week. That would be fantastic. But right now, these are the training facilities I've got and I've just got to make it work. So probably closing in now on the last few reps of this. And yeah, it start, starts to re really burn the legs. But in, in a great way. And I found as well, being a tall lifter as well, I could just never properly do barbell squats. I've took them up to some pretty heavy weights, but it, I was starting to just lean forward too much and putting stress on the lower back, which just defeats the point of doing the exercise if it's not targeting the muscles that you want to try and hit with it. So with these, you can absolutely just drive them to failure. And worst case, if you can't get back up, the uh, the plates conveniently are only about an inch from the floor in the bottom position. So that's really good. So this lovely breeze of wind that was so welcome on those last few reps there. Oh man, that is epic. <sighs> okay, so we've been training for just over an hour now. Well, that includes all the setting up times and warm up sets and things, so 
Just gonna do a bit of a, a light hamstring stretch, I think. Like a kind of a Romanian deadlift, stiff-legged deadlift, whatever. And then we'll do a plank and we'll knock it on the head for tonight, I think. Yeah. So I started trying to incorporate a little bit of like a, a hamstring stretch now. I'm not going with crazy weights on this and I'm not locking out the knees to be a 100% stiff-legged deadlift. I find with a slight unlock of the knees and then a gradual stretch down to about the mid-shin level, I find I get this fantastic stretch and it's easing my back as well. So that's really good. And as you can see, I'm trying to like sort of arch my back as well. So a great bounce back into the medium workout. I think in hindsight, some of that eight by eight stuff, I maybe took it too far trying to do eight by eight on every single exercise in a full body workout. Probably works best if you're only just gonna do it for a concentrated exercise, maybe one exercise in your whole workout routine. Well, it's all a learning curve. It was good to just get the training routine down to just over an hour tonight. Felt like about the right volume and um, yeah, made some good gains, I think, tonight as well. So that's good. So onwards and upwards. I'll see you on the next one. Keep training at 45. Yeah, explode with indomitable masculinity. <laughs> <laughs>